In this video, I wanted to show you a very interesting conundrum that I'd encountered with a print. Now, the print is actually at the um, flame gun from Logan's Run, and this is the main part of the top piece, which basically runs from the barrel. And the problem I had is that when I'm printing, and here I am actually using Repetier, and one of the problems with the print is that it, it doesn't it doesn't stick to the bed. Now, I'm, I've tried it with a brim or a raft, and that prints okay, but then when it actually starts to print the main model itself, it just comes away from the bed. And I wasn't able to identify what the problem was. And I've tried going into the settings, so if you go into the configuration under structures, uh, I've increased the raft, because I thought, well, perhaps it's not sticking to the bed with just its normal support so I added a raft tried that that still didn't work I increased the size I increased the size of the raft with this extra margin that didn't work um, I've made sure that there's no air gap at the at the bottom of the model and that the you know the start of it is you know all correct and basically still wasn't able to um, come up with a solution so I found out that Repetier had an update so I updated the software and I spent ages and ages and ages on it um, hours in fact trying to find the solution and the solution was actually very simple and the problem is it's this bevel at the bottom so what happens is that this bevel has a very 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 fine edge and it's so fine that it doesn't seem to be able to print it. It is touching uh, the bed and it is at kind of the lowest point possible, you know, zero Z axis. And I've even loaded the object or model into Blender, checked it within Blender, that's fine. Um, the model itself is absolutely fine, it's just this bottom edge. And the other problem I had, so I thought I'd try it in a different slicer. So I thought, right, okay, so let's try Prusa. And um, so here we can see the model, it's right at the bottom, it's touching the bed. Um, everything's fine with the model, as I say. And if you click slice now, then what happens? It comes up with an error. There are no, there is an object with no extrusions on the first layer. And yet, as we can see, it is right up to the first layer. So there's no reason why you'd think that shouldn't print. Um, but basically, it's because this edge is so incredibly fine that, that right on the tip of this bevel, that's the problem. And the solution was actually the easiest solution you can think of, and that's basically rotate the model. Because um, the model up, up here has a very thick edge. It's only beveled at one end. So if we go to rotate, and then if I rotate, uh, sorry, y-axis, there you go. So if I rotate the y-axis, you can see that the bevel is now at the top, and there we go. The thick base is right at the bottom, um, and that's a solution. And basically, now I've been able to send that to the printer. It's sticking to the bed. It's not coming away it's not having the same problems as before and that was the solution so it was it this was a very interesting learning curve which is why I wanted to share this because you know I'd been printing things I've been printing all the parts to this model basically and they're all fine and then suddenly this one is an issue I'd automatically considered that it was a software issue whether it is an upgrade whether it was a bug whether it was a setting when actually it was that it was just that tip of the model that bevel is just too fine an edge to be able to print and, and that's the first time I'd encountered anything like that and it just shows um, kind of how to approach this probably you know don't always assume that the model will print automatically check these things first to make sure that it's actually got a stable base that it will f that it's the type of structure at the bottom that will fit to a base and then any fine edge such as like a bevel should be at the top because it'll the printer will have much a much easier time and an easier job trying to print a bevel right at the top than it would the bottom so 
that's it that's the solution and um, I'm really really pleased I've worked that out but I think that just highlights one of the fantastic things about this particular um, you know not only the project but also 3d printing in general really and the fact is that there's challenges you know on every turn and that's part of the fun of 3d printing is actually working out how things are going to print if they don't try to find a solution um, and then basically learning from that so that you go, your prints just get better and better and better over time so um, I hope this has helped someone and it certainly helped me so I hope it I hope it helps others and I'll um, share this video with you and I'll also share a link to the um, Logan's Run flame gun as well um, so thank you for watching